Hi friends, my name is Maddie and I'm a museum educator here at the Creative Discovery Museum. Today for story time, we're going to be reading There Might Be Lobsters, a book by Carolyn Crimmie. What do you see on the cover? I see a little girl excited to be jumping into the water at the beach. But look at the dog right here. She doesn't look very happy, does she? Let's find out why. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She stood at the bottom of the stairs to the beach and waved to Suki. There she is. Hi, Suki. But Suki was just a small dog, and the stairs were big and sandy, and she hadn't had lunch yet, and her foot hurt a little, and she might get a shell stuck up her nose, and she might, be un- <laughs> she might tumble down on her head, and then she needs stitches, and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the top of the stairs with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, all right, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a tisk and a huff and carried them down the stairs. Suki doesn't look very happy. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said, El- you can do it, said Eleanor. She tossed a beach ball Suki's way. But Suki was just a small dog, and the beach ball was big and beachy, and it might hit her nose, and then it would pop, and it might be too loud, or it might knock down, and she might never get up again, and she might have to live on the beach forever and eat seaweed to survive, and besides, beach balls attract lobsters. So Suki sat far away from the beach ball with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki, Eleanor swooped that pup up with a tisk and a huff and cradled her in her arms. Come on, Suki, you can do it. Eleanor stood at the water's edge and splashed a little splash at Suki. It seems like Eleanor is really trying to encourage Suki to play. But Suki was just a small dog, and those waves were big, and they were whooshy, and they were salty, and they were too wet, and they might toss her out to the middle of the sea, and she might float all the way to Tasmania or even Florida, and she might be swallowed by a whale, and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit, and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the edge of the water with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. She shook her head and dove into the waves. Suki sat and watched beach balls bouncing and big boys running and umbrellas flapping and lifeguards blowing loud whistles and waves splish splashing with Chunkamunka floating out to sea. Sheep Suki barked for Chunkamunka to come back. Chunkamunka started to sink. Uh oh. Suki started to paddle. She paddled past a big beachy ball and through a huge salty wave and over something that might even be a lobster. Wow, Suki's really getting over her fear. Until she had Chunkamunka, he was safe. Suki had saved him. <laughs> she felt braver than the bravest dog, because even though she was very small, Chunkamunka was smaller. Oh, Suki, I knew you could do it, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a yay and a hooray and swung them very gently through the air. Suki sat in the sandy sand with the wavy waves and watched for lobsters with Chunkamunka by her side. And they didn't see one all day. And that was There Might Be Lobsters by Carolyn Crimmy. <laughs> now I'm here with my friend Haven. Hi. She's also a museum educator here at the Creative Discovery Museum. Haven, how did you like the book? I really love that book, Maddie. I think my favorite part was when Suki swam out to the ocean and rescued Chunkamunka and overcame her fear. That was pretty brave of her. Has there ever been a time when you felt fearful? Hmm. You know, it's been pretty scary going to the doctor sometimes. Really? Yes. Have you ever had somebody with you that sort of encourages you the same way Eleanor does to Suki? Hmm. Probably my mom. She'll go with me and hold my hand. (laughs) <laughs> so sweet. And what do you do now when you feel worried about something? I'll take a deep breath and tell myself everything's going to be okay. Very good. That's what I do too. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.